You are wealthy. You are abundant. You are kind. You are happy. You are loving. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, it's a beautiful day. Hey, hey, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. It's so beautiful. What's going on, all you amazing people out there? My name is CJ. And today, I just want to talk about you. How amazing you are. How strong, courageous, happy, loving, capable, powerful you are. We may not say this to ourselves enough, so I'm going to say it to you. You are capable of anything you set your mind to. You have the power to visualize things in your mind, in your imagination, to feel those emotions, and to see it unfold in your physical reality. You have the power to speak words to somebody and make their body give off certain chemicals. If you see how magical you are, you have the power to hold your attention on something and graciously, harmoniously, positively watch it grow. Watch whatever you put your attention to grow and blossom. We are magical sorcerers, okay? You wouldn't be here on this earth in this school if you were not. So realize your power, realize how capable you are, how strong you are. And through realizing how strong you are, you will allow yourself to let go of all the things that make you think you are not strong. Realizing how beautiful you are authentically will allow you to put focus on the things that make you feel not beautiful. And so you can let go of that to be your authentic self which is beautiful, strong, and confident. You may not think that highly of yourself, not because that's who you are, but because you've allowed yourself to hold on to different ideas or words that other, other people or somebody or something has made you feel. The purity of you is loving, knows you are beautiful in any way, shape, form, accent, religion, belief. You're perfect. The only thing that's making you feel like you need to doubt yourself, that you are not right, that you should be better than you are right now. The only thing making you feel that way is other things that you've attached yourself to. Somebody's opinion. Scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, something, and seeing somebody else's life and now comparing what you have or what you don't have. Once you can just know your power, your beauty, your strength, your capabilities, those other things that once held you down will make you feel inspired you will get inspiration from people instead of jealousy and doubt within yourself. Once you deeply know that you are love, that you are beautiful, you are perfect the way you are right now. You are perfectly the person you are supposed to be today. Okay? The more you believe that, the more you know that, the more you can allow other people to believe that, to know that. It will just exude off of you, okay? The energy that we are in this current moment is being felt by others around us. So if you have a low self-esteem of yourself, if you don't think very highly of yourself, if you don't think that you can accomplish big things, the energy that you're exuding into this world is of the same vibration. So just think about all the people around the world that are made to feel low, 
that are made to feel that they are useless, that they are less than this other type of person or thing. All of those people, all of the energy they're exuding into this world is affecting us. So the significance of you realizing your power, knowing that you are love and light and beauty and courage and confidence, you knowing that within yourself is you helping us collectively. You changing, you shifting the vibration of the earth. Okay. Know how powerful you are. Know how powerful everyone, everything is. Don't think somebody is less than you. Don't think somebody is greater than you. Okay. You are wonderful. And I want you to know, not just to think, okay? I want you to know that you have magic abilities, as we think is magic. We have abilities that you wouldn't think are real if you were to see them come out of you. If you were to see the results of your magical capabilities, you wouldn't even think that you did it. That's how magical you are. I want you to feel so confident within yourself, so confident within the world, that you live in a, in a mental space of peace, okay? Not to say you will always be in peace, but that will be your baseline. You can achieve this through practice, continuously programming yourself to realize that you are whole, strong, powerful, capable. Don't think about all the things in the past that you've done that made you feel less capable, less loving, ugly, okay? Don't think about those things. Those things happen and they had their purpose. Maybe to get you into this self-loving mentality, but you've seen it as punishment instead. What I'm saying is, to see yourself in the highest light as you can. See yourself as strong, happy, loving. In your mind, you see yourself hugging your loved ones, being loved by others, smiling and jumping for joy. See yourself as somebody that's confident, somebody that's courageous and goes after what they want. See yourself as your ultimate being without identifying with who you were yesterday, with who you were three years ago. Don't allow your past actions to interfere with what you want to create. Don't let those things bring you doubt, okay? Memories are useful, but don't use them in a way that can halt your blessings from coming through. For example, you're thinking about this new version of yourself you want to become, that you are becoming. And then these thoughts of who you were yesterday, last week, your last relationship, the way you were towards your mother when you were younger. Now you're thinking about those things and you're like, oh, but I, I'm not a great person. I can't, I don't think I can become the person I want to be because all the things I've done. Don't allow for your memories to destroy you. You're using your God-given powers in a destructive way. You are wonderful. You are beautiful. You are smart. You are intelligent. You are courageous. You are wealthy. You are abundant. You are kind. You are happy. You are loving. You are growing into the person you want to be. And soon, you'll become somebody you never even thought you could. Just keep your focus there and not on the other distractions that are always present. Keep your focus where you want to go instead of where you've been. Keep your focus on the things that you want to come into your reality instead of the things that just may be a habit, instead of the things that may just be entertaining, instead of the things that may just bring pleasure, certain foods, certain relationships, certain 
music, certain environments, just because they're entertaining, just because they bring you a certain type of pleasure, doesn't mean you should put all your focus in it because where our focus goes, our reality grows. Okay, whatever you're focusing on, it will be in your reality. I love you. There is so much love on this channel, in this life, in your breath, for you. Hey, continue these affirmations. Continue these types of thoughts in your mind about yourself, about others. And watch how your life transforms. Okay, I'm telling you. Peace, much, much love. And I will see you in the next video.